Hey now, how's everybody doing? I added some comments saying, hey, how come you haven't been making videos? Well, what about epic track battles? Uh, you know, I have a track time channel as well. I actually do have a video, but I have to wait. I made a video of my collection of over, over 100 Hot Wheels of the uh, Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment Cars. I have them all lined up. I already made the video. If, you know, I gave it to the people on Patreon. Uh, they have access, so if you want uh, early access or behind the scenes, uh, right now you can see it if you're on Patreon. Now this this box right here, uh, I bought this from from somebody. Two cases of vintage Hot Wheels, and on top is my address. And I'm looking at the ship date. It was uh, August 14th of 2014, so this is this is over four years old. Uh, I trusted the seller. Hopefully, you know, they should be sealed cases. That's what they were supposed to be. This is a little bit tricky. Uh, one's upside down, but that's okay. Let's see. Now there's two cases. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick one to open. Well, that doesn't look like it's... Oh, that's the other box. I was going to say, I was going to say, hey, wait a second. That's not sealed. Look, it's... Oh, but that's the outer shipping box. So... These are the old way that Hot Wheels were packed. Right now, nowadays they're in like a square container. So uh, this is the old 72 count cases. There's two here. I am going to pick one. And it's a little reason is because, okay, uh, I haven't been able to publish a video on race grooves in a couple weeks. But instead, I thought I would do something special and crack open one of these uh, vintage. You call them, oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know if you would call them vintage cases. Well, I don't see any addresses. Oh, there's a address there. I don't know who that is. Hopefully, I can see the case code. Here's the case code. It's right down here. It's AXQ. Now, this is from the early 2000s. So this is going to be at least 10, 13 years old because I think it was about 2003 when they changed the uh, case code system. Yeah, I was hoping that it would be two different case codes, but it does look like they're both AXQ. AXQ. Uh, back in the day, you know, certain treasure hunts, or rather, Treasure hunts were in a specific case. So if you knew that the treasure hunt was in AXQ, all of the AXQ cases had a treasure hunt. Uh, that's, so Mattel stopped that. Uh, this case is, this case is kind of whack. I want to open that bad case first. Well, this, this one's a little whack too. Uh, got torn. Oh well, we'll pick one to open. Since it's the same code, looks like I might be doing both at the same time. As you can see, it's sealed. One piece of tape. One piece of tape. Let me, how am I going to do this? Before I start cutting, as you can see, 72 toys. So it's still a 72 count case. It's just that it's a flat rectangular box. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut it this way. Well, there's, here we go. Hopefully, I don't know if the cars are packed like this or they're going to be packed like this. I might have to turn it sideways. We'll find out. There's a piece of paper, you old collectors. You know what that is. It's going to be a little something from Mattel talking about the case. I'm double checking, making sure my uh, everything's recording because it's a special moment here. Okay, it is good. It is sitting flat the way I wanted it to. And this is what it would say. You have this piece of paper in the case. You can uh, pause that. There, I'll hold it steady. You can pause that. Full lifetime warranty. Valid only in the USA. So, let's see what this is. This is going to be, oh yeah, I see Ferrari right there. Let me count real quick. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 4. All right, I think I messed up. Ah, forget it. Let's move on. So if, if the treasure hunt, if this was a case with the treasure hunt, uh, they stopped that. that I don't know what year this is. I see some first editions. 
There's your Dodge. There's your first edition Lakester. And that means this is a 1998 case. This case is 20 years old. By the way, uh, during this time period, there's only one treasure in it. There's no basic. There, I mean, there's not like a basic and a super one treasure in it. That was it. And in 1998, I don't think any of the cars had a... Uh, I'm thinking real quick. I don't think they had uh, rubber tires at that time. Anyways, here we have power pipes and two samples of Alien in the Artistic License series. And it was kind of nice back then. They would have the cars that were in the Artistic License series. And you know what? They would not, uh, all four of them are not going to be in this case. I see Flying Aces with Dogfighter. Artistic License School Bus right there. Here's the Miata. This one's, I like this Miata right here. Here you have the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Part of the Sugar Rust series. And it has the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup decorations. Two samples. This is a fun model to collect. Haven't seen it in a long time. It's the 1998 First Editions Toe Jam. So sure enough, this case is 20 years old. Uh, because the last cases would have came out about, uh, oh, I have to double check the tempo. Because there's like a variations in the tempo. Uh, it would have been nice if it was a large tempo. That's a, a small tempo. Tri-blade or three-spoke wheels. I see that I have two of these, so I'll pull this down. We have the uh, Mustang Cobra, 1998 first edition. This one has variations, I believe, in the, in the tempos as well. Been 20 years. This is the year when I first started collecting. This is pretty cool uh, for me because, uh, you know, this is going back to when I, I tell people I first started collecting in 1998. <clears throat> and, you know, I picked up a little bit before that. Mercedes C-Class. Race Team Series 4. This is the race team colors I like to collect. Base paint blue with your Hot Wheels flag logo. What were the other race team cars at the time? 67 Camaro. Oh, it might be right there. Matter of fact, it might be underneath that white car. 67 Camaro, Mercedes C-Class, Shelby Cobra, 427 SC, and 63 Corvette. There's a 32 Ford. This came back a year or so ago. You can see it's different. If you have a 32 Ford, look at the engine part right there. It's not connected to the motor, uh, to the body. Well, yours might be. There's a first edition, first release. And I said this was artistic license. There you go. Mixed signals. Oops. School bus. What did I say the other one was? Mixed signals. Oh, artistic license. Got confused. Let's see, Panos. Ah, oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Flashback. Here you have the Panos GTR1. This is nice. Mm, a little bit of red, white, and blue. First edition. Zender Fact 4, and it's actually a licensed model. Uh, I think it might have been a concept car, but it is actually a licensed model. Another 32 Ford. This one has uh, the same wheels. A couple of contract uh, construction. You have wheel loader. Uh, no more construction for the uh, Hot Wheels. They kind of put them over the Matchbox. This gives me a chance to also talk about the red card. Oh, so that means this is, a, uh, this is not a later in the year case. This is an earlier in the year because they started with red cards and then Mattel went to a blue card. No, they started with the blue card, I think, and then they went to a red card. I forgot which one was first. Help me out, you old timers. <laughs> Wheel loader collector number 641. Nice and easy to see. Big letters for the name of the car, not teeny tiny letters underneath. You know what I'm talking about. Shock factor. Really like those big basic wheels. Digger. Oh, pretty cool. Mm, these might be, these might be China castings, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if this one actually came from, uh, I gotta think, I forgot the name. It'll come to me in a little bit. But um, Mattel bought a company and he, they got their castings. And this might, Corgi, this might have been an original Corgi casting. 
So this is pretty cool to get. I don't know if I have this model actually. When I first started clicking, I'm pretty sure I was getting everything. But uh, I might have decided, well, I got a couple and that was it, or one. Proper chopper. You see, you can pull out the um, rotor to make it longer. Tail rotor, two samples. Three window, 34. This car got issued a lot with these same graphics. And I mean, years for years, but they would have different wheels. Big chill. Big Chill go bye-bye. Big Chill was in the final run series. Oh, you want to check it out. Just has a, a small wheels right there, but like it's really skinny wheel right there. A little hard to see. There's another Mustang Cobra. First edition, like I said. Here's a first edition. Uh, let's move on. I was trying to think of a super comp tractor. This one had a... Variation with the number of stickers. Uh, Ferrari F50. Mattel, get that Ferrari license back, would you? Uh, or at least somebody make some nice Ferrari models that'll go on the track, okay? I mean, like this scale, 164. Flying Aces, 1970 Dodge Charger Daytona. If you have a Daytona, this is a different casting. Flying Aces with your Flying Aces graphics on there. 57 Chevy with a blown engine. There you go. Artistic license series. Pretty cool graphic style on there. Another Panos GTR1. Take a look at that Ferrari. I spotted that one first thing. Ferrari F40. Oh, check it out. It has, a, it has an opening hatch in the back. You can, see, uh, you can see the line right there. Yeah, so the engine compartment in the back opens up. This is a fast car for downhill racing. Dash for cash, Ferrari F40. The other four models would be nice if they were in here. Jaguar XJ220, Ferrari F40, Audi Avis, Dodge Viper RT10. Well, that Dodge Viper, not so much. Audi Avis was okay. Jaguar XJ was okay. This one, that was the best one, that Ferrari. 95 Camaro convertible. It's got that huge toenail for a windshield i mean it's got this big windshield tank truck uh this is a fun model to collect triple axle nice and shiny here we go uh this this was some wild process that they had for the tech tone series uh the car was just kind of randomly like some water oil type paint something so you you would get all sorts of, uh, it's not like one style. You can you get a whole bunch of them and none of them will look the same. That's the uh, Buick Wildcat. It is a licensed model. Here we have the Dogfighter. I seen that one right away. Couldn't miss it because of the uh, propeller. Matter of fact, uh, I did a video showing the Flying Aces series for Truck and Tuesday because uh, one of the truck and transporters had a Flying Aces type graphic. Here you have Hummer. Just graphics on the side. That was it. Oh yeah! Turbo Flame. I love this casting. Fantastic. It's got the flame coming out the back. It's, it might be hard to see. You can see, you see how they have that orange plastic part coming down the middle. So it's like a flame coming out the back. Fun model to uh, play with and to collect. Ford GT90. Haven't seen this one in a long time. I like the GT, so I like to collect this one. But it does not look, uh, it doesn't look like anything like a Ford GT normally, GT40. But this one's fast on the track, metal body and a metal base. Nowadays, mm, I don't even know if any cars in the basics. Maybe uh, just the Cobra 40s Woody. Maybe only the, the uh, I, think, I don't know if there's anything that's a metal body, metal base now in the basics. Here you have the Camaro race car. And there's your 67 Camaro. Now this one, uh, I don't know how it happened. They goofed up. Oh, this is opening hood, by the way. I don't know if we can get that could open up. But it is opening hood. They Now they have a plastic version for 67 Camaro. That's just a, a sealed body. But it would be cool if I got one with the variation on the base to where there's no country of origin. And no, it does say Malaysia right there by my thumb. 
So that's a nice variation if you can find one without the country of origin. Oh, here you have Flame Stopper. Nice, uh, nice fantasy model. Uh, I think I, I, oh, Biohazard series. Yeah, I did Jammers and Racing with this set. So you've probably already seen that. Attitude. Check out the way they spell that. at attitude. Attitude. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels fantasy, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this was based on a concept car. Uh, I'll just move on. Oh, there's the treasure hunt. And so you can miss it back then. Green Stripe Treasure Hunt Series. Can't miss it. Nowadays, you have to look for a Super Flame logo for the basics. Or you have to look for special paint and rubber tires. Uh, back then, all you had to do, look for the green stripe. The only thing is some, some series kind of have like a green stripe that's very close, like uh, Biohazard. So some people would buy all these up thinking they were the treasure hunt. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Got a little bit of allergies. <laughs> so anyways, I did get the treasure hunt. Very cool. Uh, double vision. I forget. Yeah, double vision. Pretty cool. Check it out. It just looks uh, normal like this, but then when you look top down, it's kind of split down the middle. And the m double motor's on the other side. Pretty cool. Uh, sometimes you get a variation with this to where the, uh, the engine will be put down backwards. And right now it's correct because the exhausts are angled backwards. So this one was assemb assembled properly. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, I already have it, but it's... At least I know that they didn't just sell the cases that they knew they didn't have a treasure hunt. But then again, this might have been the time period when they when they stopped doing that. Twin Mill 2, kind of the, uh, yeah, it's Twin Mill, but nobody likes to talk about the the brother, this brother here. You know, he's kind of the black sheep of the family. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a Twin Mill. Twin Mill 2. Pikes Peak Celica. There you go. Nice model. Oh, sorry. And somebody asked me, uh, did Mattel lose a license for Toyota? Because there hasn't been Toyotas in a while. So I don't know. I haven't heard have anything. Here you have What a Drag, 1998 first edition. Two samples. You think it's a fantasy model? No, somebody actually made this. <laughs> this is actually a custom car somebody made. I don't know if the licensing is on the back, but uh, it was actually... It was, it, it, somebody actually made that. Oh, oh, I bought so many of that car right there. There you go. Derek Delivery, hunk of metal. Yeah, this one they haven't put in the basics in a long time. Now it's only in the uh, adult collector lines where Mattel can get four or five dollars from this, right? Huge model, 1998 first edition, Derek Delivery. Now the, the, uh, the interior was aqua, went to go with the paint job. But uh, still, nonetheless, <laughs> two more dairy deliveries for the collection. T-Bird, 63 T-Bird, first edition. I think there was a, oh, you know why they changed? Oh, I got to find a red card now. That will tell me, somebody's already commented below, I'm sure. I have to wait for uh, the red cards. They were going to do 48. They tried to do 48 cars in the year, and then they decided they can't make it, so they cut it back to 40. There you go. Beautiful car, metal body. Metal base, beautiful car. A little skinny on the track though. Kind of we kind of got a wiggle butt when it's going down the track. Here you have Tectone series, Silhouette 2. And there again is that wild paint job. These did not sell well. You can buy all you can eat. Two samples of catapult. Uh, just like attitude. <laughs> Having fun with their uh, names of their cars. This one's, a, this one's a little hockey puck for a model. It's really small. Uh, this one had some type of variation. I think it was a red logo. I think that was the red variation back in the day. And uh, no. Red logo was probably the uh, first edition. Uh, the very first release. And then they changed it because it was hard to see. Um, with there being two in this case, it might not be... I doubt it being there. Anyways, Mixed Signals, 80s Corvette. Another one from the Mixed Signals series. Metal body. Metal base. Yeah, those are the good old days. One dollar, you get metal body, metal base cars. That's just the way it goes. 
Dodge Concept Car. Now this one, those reportedly purple interiors. No, that was with the Sidewinder. Never mind, wrong car. Had the same orange color. Here you go, Dodge Concept Car. Two samples. Really, really neat orange color paint job. Two samples of Chaparral 2. And if you're a Red Line collector, or if you know about Red Lines, there was a uh, Chaparral back then as well in a Red Lines. It was white, it had, a, had an opening hatch, and it had a spoiler, had wings in the back. Here you have the customized C3500, and this had a variation as well before. We called it the long stripe variation, but as you can see, the stripe ends right there at the fender. So this was not the hard to find variation. Beautiful color. And I love those Lambo wheels or five dot wheels. Lake Stir, this was a fun model to collect. This one, it uh, opens up. It's like a salt flat racer, Lake Stir. So there's a hinge on the back side right here in the middle. You can see red between two silver parts. Well, that's like a hinge. So the whole body opens up like this and the whole inside is a motor. Uh, that's, that's a fun model to collect. Here, oh good, we got Dash for Cash. Oh, there are some good downhill racing right there. Sugar Rush Funny Car. Jaguar X20, Dash for Cash series. Yeah, I love this model. Jaguar XJ220. Two samples. Funny car, and uh, I don't have the other funny car. The 71 Mustang funny car was in the mix just recently, and it does not open up. They sealed the body to the base. That's not this model. But uh, yeah, uh, the, the days of getting metal body, metal bases are gone. I'm trying to see if it would pop open, but it's a funny car, so uh, the body would pop open. Anyways, there you go. And three more. Oh, this one was final run. Radar Ranger, that one's gone. I'm pretty sure it was final run, final run. Nice decorations. Metal body, <laughs> metal body, metal base. Oh yeah, and that little satellite thing right there, that spins around. And here's a couple more for the Sugar, Sugar, Mix Signals Series Street Rotor. Again, you have the signals all over it. Big off-road tires. Uh, I don't know if they call them construction tires. Uh, I, I forget. Hang on, let me see if I can find that red card real, real quick. Well, guess what? The one that had the red car was a wheel loader. It was not a first edition, but I went into the collection and I got myself a first edition with the red card. It's the Jerry Delivery. By the way, uh, since it's the same code, I'm gonna go ahead and crack open that too right after the break. I'll go through it faster, I'm just to check for errors and stuff. I don't have to talk that much. But here you go, Dairy Delivery. So it's the same model, blue card. This one had 10 out of 40. And this one, 10 out of 48. That's uh, So this was the first one. They were going to try to get 48 cars. And I guess through because of production, they decided uh, we can't quite get 48 cars in one year. So they dropped it down to 40. Now, is this rare? Well, some cars were kind of harder to find with the red card, and other cars, I don't know which ones, they're only on the red card because they were earlier in the year. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and crack open the other case right after this break. Okay, here we go, same code, AXQ and AXQ down here. I'm going to do this one faster, and you know what I'm also going to do? is I'm going to see if they have the same number of cars in each case, meaning, you know, if there was one Ferrari in one, was it the same Ferrari in the other, and was it only one? If there was a treasure hunt, is it the same 57 Chevy treasure hunt? There's our little piece of paper. And taking a quick glance, and the basic treasure, the, not basic, the treasure hunt is right there. There's no basic or no super, like I said earlier. Uh, uh, this one is upside down from how I did it before, I think. Anyways, we'll just go through this quickly, and then I'll do the, uh, the comparison. Here you go. That'd be cool if we get a 
wheel error, mixed parts. Those are uh, my t favorite types of errors, especially with me cracking it open right here. And, you know, the cases were sealed. You know for sure that uh, it's an authentic error. There's the stripes. They're both uh, regular stripes, meaning uh, not that long stripe variation. Love these lace wheels. I'm just pausing a bit to make sure that you can see the wheels in case you notice an error or a wheel variation. There's the uh, dairy delivery, the milk truck. I keep standing up to uh, reach further into the case and my, my chair keeps creaking. Let's move it a little closer. Oh man, what a drag. No, that's the name, what a drag. And there is the uh, 57 Chevy Treasure Hunt. The 57 Chevy, it's been a uh, treasure hunt several times. Uh, I lost track. I'm not sure how many times it's been the uh, treasure hunt. Grab too many, I can't see him. There's the Woody. We haven't seen the Woody in a long time. <coughs> That was cool when I got that uh, one Hot Wheel without the propeller. Mm, which one was that? You guys who watch my uh, case unboxing. Hey, look, it had a uh, basic and a super. There's your basic. I'm just kidding. I don't want to start no rumors, okay? I don't play that game. I tell you guys straight up, give you the information, so this way you have the best information that you can. Oh, by the way, so he said, uh, I don't know if it was he or she, but... You ever been making videos? Well, I have the Off the Peg channel, and this way when I'm, when I'm in the store and if I find something interesting to show in a video, well, then I'll make a video. And it doesn't matter if I find a super treasure hunt or not. It's just basically, but it has to, there has to be some point to the video. I just don't film junk and then there'd be nothing. There'd be a, maybe if I found something new, this way you kind of know what to look for. So that's my Off the Peg channel. And then uh, I told you about track time already. You got the link from that other earlier one. Uh, what's left? Track time off the pegs. Now, uh, Race Grooves Jr. Uh, I haven't been able to get to that yet. I do have a couple videos over there. But um, there's one more. What's the other one? Oh, still plays with toys. I did do an unboxing video for Still Plays With Toys. That's going to be more mystery car unboxing stuff and uh, things that don't belong on race screws if I want to do them. I, don't, I didn't promote it. I didn't mention it. It's on my main page. If you click on the channels, you do the drop down menu and you see all my channels. Uh, even though, uh, anyways. So uh, now I'll go ahead and take a break. And let me compare the case, the quantities. It seemed, sure seemed like they were exactly the same. Same number of cars. But I don't know if this was the time period when if you bought an AQ case, AXQ. I don't know if this was the time to where that code always had the treasure hunt. No matter how many of these cases you bought, this code had a treasure hunt. And I think Mattel had to stop that because then the uh, retailers would say, well, we know there's no treasure hunt in those cases, and they'd return them. I don't know if that's true or not, but anyways. Now treasure hunts are uh, randomized. Hang on. I unpacked and repacked both cases, and they were exactly the same. Same cars, same count. But what about fantasy models compared to originals? You know, everybody likes to collect original models, like the 57 Chevy. Not original models. I mean licensed models. How many license models are there? Because nowadays, uh, 2019 is when I'm filming this, and half of the cases are uh, fantasy models. It's just the way it is. It's almost exactly 36 and 36. If not, it's very close. But uh, here, I took all the license models that were in the case. That would be the Ford, the Chevy, the Ferrari, uh, the Hummer. What else can I see real quick? Uh, the Panos. Those are actual licensed models. And this stack right here is the fantasy models right here. These, I'm, we're going to go through, and I'm going to try to keep it moving. This bus, it's just a generic school bus, not a licensed model. 
Same with this. Looks like it could be a real tank truck, but no, it's Hot Wheels just designed it. It's not nobody's specific uh, tank truck. Now this one, Hershey's, it says funny car, but on the back, well, you know, uh, it says right here, you can see Hershey's is a trademark under license from Hershey Foods Corporation. But that, what about the funny car? We know that's a licensed graphic, so they had to put that in on the back. But what about the actual funny car itself? It's just a regular funny car. Well, not really. It actually started out as a probe funny car. So we get to put that one over there on the license stack. That is a licensed model. Even though, well, I don't know if I should say licensed model. It's based on the probe, but I checked a lot. I checked all the funny cars that I know about. And none of them had like a Ford on, oh wait, here's one. No, that's not it. This is the one that had Ford on there. Ford is Woody. And you, I keep hearing people saying, no, no, it's a, actually a Ford, Ford is Woody. But I look on the back and it doesn't say anything, anything for Ford at all. But I did some checking around and I did find a release where they had the Ford licensing on the back. So the 40s Woody, well, I'm going to have to slip it up here over on the license stack. So we're definitely way in the lead here. Here we have Alien. Of course, Alien, look at that. That's, it's got to be a fantasy model. Uh, I don't know about anything uh, looking like that. But on the back right here, Alien used with permission by International Automotive Design. So it was a concept car. Well... There we go. One more licensed car for the pile. I don't know if the fantasies are going to catch up. It definitely looks like there was more licensed releases before. Zinderfac, as I said, uh, it actually is a licensed model right here. It says Zinder trademark, use Zinder trademarks, use with permission. So I think it was a uh, concept car. We'll go ahead and get it up here in the license stack. I don't think I don't think the fantasy cars have a chance to catch up. Now, even though I've seen a custom car of this on the back, there there is no licensing information. So it's going to go over here in the fantasy pile. Here you have the super comp dragster. I know somebody who has a, a super comp dragster just like this. It, it's like exactly like this, but. Uh, nope, it's just Hot Wheels version of a super comp dragster. Now you have the dairy delivery. Uh, this is actually based on Divco milk trucks back in the day, but the, the casting itself apparently is a fantasy design, but they did pay for the Got Milk tra trademark used under license. I don't know how old you are, but there was an advertising campaign for milk. And that's what they would say, got milk. So even though that's a licensed decoration, it's not a licensed model. And these are just like the uh, original ones when they started off early. Even, they, even though they look like they could be licensed designs, no indication that they uh, are actual uh, licensed. Hot Wheels uh, Mattel came up with their design. Uh, my stack's going to get a little uneven here because of these last castings are bigger uh, i gotta keep it six 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 so this way it matches up evenly well guess what <laughs> i still have a whole this definitely wheel loader nope i looked on the back no trademark there you go so there's there there were definitely in this case here this example there there was more if i match them evenly two cars two cars one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there were eight more licensed than Fantasy. Eight out of 72, that's still a significant number. I made a video talking about treasure hunts. If you're a newer collector, please check that out. I know people wanna ask me questions. I made that video, check out that video. And yes, there will be a track time shout outs video for these cases. I will do track time from this, but I also do epic track battles over on the track time channel as well. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.